you are watching Redicon. Let's see fourth case in the conus abnormality, hence it's labeled as C4. You have seen part of it previously in the scoliosis section. You can see teething of the conus, which is low lying, to the level of L4. Normally, it should be at the level of L1 or L2. There is increased AP diameter of the thecal sac and hence a dural ectasia is present. There are some suggestions that if AP diameter of the thecal sac at S1 level is greater than that of thecal sac at L4, then it is dural ectasia. It is true, but not always applicable as in this case. You can also see that a bony bar is present at the level of L2, which is causing diastomatomyelia. Low lying card and diastomatomyelia are often related to other spinal abnormalities, especially spinal dystrophism. The image on the right is a different patient, however, shows spinal dystrophism and meningocele, which presents a failure of fusion of neural tube dorsally during embryogenesis. Now let's look at the case 5, as C5. It shows fracture of L1 with fracture line through the vertebral body as well as the posterior elements. It is an unstable injury affecting both columns, actually all three columns, with loss of vertebral body height and collapse. It is classic location of a burst fracture with axial loading or compression from thoracic column onto L1. When you look closely, you can see anterior portion is compressed more than the posterior vertebral body. There is a break in the posterior cortex with several millimeter retropulsion of fractured body fragments. There is a spinal cord contusion present, just like we did in the cases of malignancy or malignant cord compression. We have to describe the cord contusion or myelopathy in these cases before surgery or any other intervention is done. That concludes our discussion of conus or cord pathologies. So, so far we have discussed alignment as A, body height as B, conus as C. In alignment, we discussed spasm, scoliosis, kyphosis, spondylysis, spondylosis, spondylisthesis. In body height, we discussed bony abnormalities such as developmental in origin, hemangiomas, metastases, fractures, pathological fractures, osteophytes, syndesmophytes, and plate changes. And then C for conus, we discussed mass lesions, teething, myelomalacia. Examples of syrinx and arachnoiditis are added on to the cases on radicon.org during the case review where we have approximately 35 to 40 cases of lumbar spine for review showing different pathologies on DICOM images. This video is presented in collaboration with Radicon Institute of Radiology. You are welcome to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell for updates. For more modules in radiology CMEs, please visit our website www.radicon.org.